Good morning, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot. Happy Saturday. I'm in the Saturn hour. How will Saturn going direct gonna hit up the karmic ex-boyfriend? Well, in the reading that just came up yesterday that I uploaded, there was some positive movement, which I was quite surprised. Positive movement about the karmic ex-boyfriend. Progressive movement. A sense of spirituality or coming into spirituality. Wanting to prove something. So if that's the case, then how is Saturn going to help push and project this energy along? Okay. So keep in mind, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, that not all messages are going to resonate for every single Scorpio and every single Cross Watcher under Scorpio. But I could say that one thing throughout the reading today, and it will be like the aha moment. But 100% of the time, all signs get represented across the board. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And again, for those of you <clears throat> who are new to my channel, when you see a blacked out screen, I only do it when I'm doing the Saturn readings. So the blacked out screen is in honor of planet Saturn, okay? Because black is a main color theme of the planet Saturn, okay? And um, so don't be alarmed, okay? Just think of it as an old time radio show, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell. Gonna go ahead and roll the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to today to see how planet Saturn is going direct is gonna hit up the energy of this karmic ex boyfriend, which I said in the last reading <clears throat> on the karmic ex boyfriend. I think he's gonna end up be dropping that title of karmic and coming into a higher vibrational frequency. So we have the number five. We got the number five again. Maybe we'll get a five, five, five. Let's see. Nope, five, five, four. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four to the 55. That brings me to the number 59. <clears throat> Some of you Scorpios in my, in my more mature crowd, you could be 44 years old. You could be 45 years old, 49 years old. Um... 54 years of age, 55 years of age, or 59 years old, okay? Just, FY, just FYI, <clears throat> my coffee's trying to go down here, you guys. So with the number five, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May or possibly an Aries or a Taurus throughout the month of uh, April. And with the number nine, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra throughout the month of September, okay? So, we're going to go to the number 59. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59. Okay. Scorpio, cross watchers, this karmic ex-boyfriend, planet Saturn, Archangel Michael, how will the energy of Saturn going direct hit up this karmic ex-boyfriend? There's It shows that there is some progressive movement according to Mars retrograde. So how is Saturn coming through on this? Wow. <clears throat> Scorpio energy on the board with the death card. Change and transformation. This karmic ex-boyfriend is ready to be a phoenix rising up out of the freaking ashes. We want to see progression, you guys. 
we want to see progression with the karmics, meaning we want to see them doing better, you know, and move on, yes, to other things. But this particular group, I feel, of karmic ex-boyfriends, they are going to be returning back to the twin flame soulmate union. Because some of these karmic ex-boyfriends were heavily influenced not just by the bromances or excessive girlfriends, but a lot of it has to do with their family members. So there is a major awakening coming in. I wouldn't be surprised if the judgment card shows up. So if you thought that this, maybe this relationship with this karmic ex-boyfriend that you put a lot of time and energy into Scorpio or vice versa, crosswatcher onto Scorpio, something here is going to be rebirth. It's like a butterfly it's like a caterpillar emerging out of the cocoon and transforming into that butterfly. Let's see how else this is going to keep moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. Yeah. The reason for this major change coming is because this Eight of Swords, and it's crazy because this Eight of Swords energy came up in the Mars retrograde reading on the Karmic Ex-Boyfriend. So I'm almost feeling there's like past tense, then there's going to be a present tense, and future tense. Planet Saturn, I say, is going to... There's going to be some kind of a spiritual awakening or a revelation or an aha moment that is going to kick into these karmic ex-boyfriends to stop making them so damn blindsided to the truth. The truth of their family members, the truth of the people that they hang around, the truth of the excessive girlfriends or the partying or the drinking or obsessive compulsive behaviors. It could be anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Planet Saturn is going to be calling out these karmic ex-boyfriends on their sneaky, lying-ass behavior. Mm -hmm. And also, because the Seven of Swords is here, and push them, I'm hearing push them out of their comfort zones to get away from whatever freaking circus act that they're dealing with. So there is a sense of strategizing, too, because the, the Seven of Swords is twofold, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But Planet Saturn's going to hit them up royally for all of the lies, the wishy-washy responses, the uh, half-truths and not giving the full truth. Yeah, the Magician energy is here, sign of Gemini. There's a new beginning, the, these karmic ex-boyfriends, this specific group of karmics that, karmic ex-boyfriends are manifesting. Or some of you Scorpios may be manifesting for this karmic ex-boyfriend to start doing the right thing. We'll see how the magician is coming in. End to the old, hello to the new. That's I'm looking at between Scorpio... And the alchemist, which is the magician. So I'm almost feeling like I should put a card between death card with sign of Scorpio and the alchemist with Gemini energy here. Because it's like you have the seven of swords and the eight of swords. So what I say to this is that their lies, betrayals, deceit, whatever in the past, it's all going to backfire on them. That's what I'm hearing. So that they can have... They can have this major change. There, there's more focused intention. There's focused intention that's coming in through this magician card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the eight of swords. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For the seven of swords. One for the magician. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Archangel Michael and Planet Saturn, show me 
this Eight of Swords energy and how is planet Saturn going to hit up this karmic ex-boyfriend so that they have this major awakening and a major change. Okay, there, okay, it's the Eight of Swords is being clarified by the Seven of Cups. When I see that Seven of Cups, which is my least favorite card in the deck, it could be that those that have been in and around this karmic boyfriend, the ones that have created confusion, delusional energy around the karmic ex-boyfriend that put him into this Harry Houdini self-imposed prison. Part of it was his fault. Others, again, it was the family members. It was the excessive girlfriends not knowing what he wanted, not being prepared financially, etc. And maybe for some of these karmic ex-boyfriends, some of them could be drug dealers or they smoke Far too much marijuana for some of them. There's going to be a major lesson. Major, major, major lesson about these snakes in the grass that have been circulating in and around this karmic ex-boyfriend. And you know what's crazy when I, I just said that about the snakes because in the Seven of Cups, you guys have seen it before where there's the one snake that comes out of the cup. But as I said that, I saw the scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark when Indiana Jones falls into the pit and you have all of them cobras and the snakes and everything that was around him. And what does Indiana Jones say? I hate snakes. There's a reason for that. Because there's always an enemy. There's always an enemy. Mm-hmm. How is this Seven of Swords, Archangel Michael and Planet Saturn... How is this energy affecting this major transformation for this karmic ex-boyfriend? What is this all about? He's going to... Okay, some of these karmic ex-boyfriends that are drug dealers, they're going to get caught. They will get caught. There will be an ending. They will get caught and they will change their ways. I do see that some of these karmic ex-boyfriends are going to end up going either to like Alcoholics Anonymous or they're going to go to drug rehab. Um, I am picking this up because... The Six of Pentacles is about breadcrumbing. It's about giving time and energy to a lot of numerous different people. There's going to be some major hardcore lessons for some of these ex uh, karmic boyfriends that are drug dealers more specifically. Outside of that situation, for the ones that don't, you know, deal with drugs, okay, there's going to be some possible sneaky behavior in and around family members because the Six of Pentacles shows kind of a little bit of family energy. It's not quite like the Ten of Pentacles, but there is a sense of family, okay? So there could be family members that are going to gear up and backstab and betray the karmic ex-boyfriend. So that could be where some of them are going to get their karma Okay, now, message from the magician, this brand new beginning, Archangel Michael and Planet Saturn. How is this coming into play? The world card. So we have a beginning and an ending. It, there, there's a cycle here. There, somebody's karmic cycle with this karmic ex-boyfriend, there are certain behaviors here that are coming to an end. The things that have held this karmic ex-boyfriend back from communicating effectively. So it's going to hit up the karmic ex-boyfriends for not paying attention to the red flags, not paying attention to the twin flame soulmate connection, not making the twin flame soulmate connection the number one priority, and allowing people, places, things, and situations, roommates, uh, the bromances, too many golf outings, whatever. Time and energy to too many different people and lying deceptive family members. Message from the sign of Scorpio, Archangel Michael, and this major transformation on the karmic ex-boyfriend. What is this all about? They're going to be racing and charging ahead. The chariot. Well, hallelujah. 
Some of you are dealing straight up with a Cancerian energy or a Leo more specifically throughout the month of July. Some of these karmic ex-boyfriends are spying in on you, Scorpio, or vice versa because of the world card. This is also about family lineage. A lot of family energy. This karmic ex-boyfriend is going to get hit up royally with backstabbing and betrayal from family members. A lot of, a lot of them are. Because you know what's interesting? That some of these karmic family members that are in and around the karmic ex-boyfriend, they take advantage of him too. And what I am picking up is that this karmic ex-boyfriend, and a lot of them out there, I should say, I don't want to single just one of them out, a lot of them are highly intelligent. They do absorb information <clears throat> like a sponge. But they have been spying in on you. Some of them are at a physical distance from some of you, by land, by air, by sea. Some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign that's a karmic ex-boyfriend, a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, or another Scorpio such as yourself. This karmic ex-boyfriend is racing and charging ahead for victory. There, I, I feel... You know, what's, I have this, as much as I have that warrior energy in me, because I have more, I have more masculine, I have more masculine energy in my, in my birth chart. And I mean, I am feeling some empathy here and some compassion. I do feel that some of these karmic ex-boyfriends were in a rock between a hard place. And they thought that they were using their intuition to maybe their peak. They weren't. And obviously they learned their lessons because then they realized that they were, you know, stuck or trapped or bound. Bound by, you know, uh, deceptive people. being a, and, and some of these karmic ex-boyfriends are people pleasers. And I'm also picking up too that these karmic ex-boyfriends are also very popular. They're popular in their social circle. Do a little more clarification here. What's going on, Archangel Michael and Planet Saturn, between the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles? Seven and six is 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. The Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Working very hard to be a people pleaser. And giving time and energy away to the wrong crowd. Lying, deceptive people. And in, and in turn, that influence got latched on to this karmic ex-boyfriend. I do feel that they was in a rock between a hard place. Show me what's going on between the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What happened? Okay. King of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This karmic ex boyfriend knows that you wanted full blown out commitment. Because the King and Queen of Pentacles is about marriage, it's about family, it's about having children, being a parent, um, <clears throat> having, you know, financial stability. But see, it could have been that this karmic ex-boyfriend was squandering away money on all the wrong things, impulsive spender, that's what I'm picking up, an impulsive shopper, impulsive spender, Buying things that he didn't really need or spending it on marijuana or drugs. Um, a 
It's not to say that some of these karmic ex-boyfriends didn't have any money tucked away on the side. But giving too much time and energy to the wrong people. Being committed and dedicated to a bunch of thieves and liars. And a lot of them are family members. And maybe some interpersonal relationships with some uh, bromances. There's a lot of deception in and around this karmic ex-boyfriend. Message from the Seven of Cups, Archangel Michael and Planet Saturn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And see, because they were giving time and energy to the liars, the thieves, the karmic parents, the karmic sisters and brothers and not being able to see the truth, not seeing the situation for what it was, that there was deception, deception in and around this karmic ex-boyfriend, all the deception, yeah, oh my god, you guys, freaking ten of swords, I told you, this, this is, um, it's the power of the numbers, you guys, power of the numbers, It's going to be a sad state of affairs, but this karmic ex-boyfriend is going to get backstabbed and betrayed. But you know, it's so interesting. I kind of feel that planet Saturn It's got yes, it's that energy is going to hit up this karmic ex-boyfriend. But yet there's this um I feel like I feel like planet Saturn is going to give this karmic ex-boyfriend <clears throat> a second chance. There, there, it seems to be that there will be some mercy, energetically speaking, because of this magician, the chariot, and the world card and the sign of Scorpio. Because again, a rebirth, a new person. Breaking old habits. That's what I'm picking up. Who or what is this Ten of Swords deception more specifically? Archangel Michael and Planet Saturn around the karmic ex-boyfriend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my freaking God. I saw it in my mind's eye. Oh my God. Oh my God. I saw it. I was going to call it out. I'm like, wait, just hold up, Mel. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. These karmic... Ex-boyfriends, there's that ten of swords, they are being massively backstabbed and betrayed by a mother figure. Massively. There's that magician. Oh my god, my spirits, you rock. You absolutely freaking rock. It is family. It's family, and more specifically, this empress. This can also be a karmic girlfriend that they could be dealing with, okay? But I'm picking up more of a mother figure. I freaking saw it, you guys. What did I say in the Venus Unexpected Messages? I think it was part three. I said somebody needs to wake up to the damn truth of their mother and get the... You know, I want to say the F word so bad right now. I'm just... I'm, I'm trying to keep... Keep my words in check here, okay? They need to effing get away from this mother. Big time. Royally. For some of them. For some of them. She is freaking cunning. Cunning. And I'm telling you what, you guys. We haven't even scratched the surface of the karmics. Oh, we haven't gone into the sisters. We haven't gone into the brothers and the half-brothers and the step-brothers and the stepsisters and the half-sisters, let alone the ex-wife, the ex-husband. Well, wait till we hit up because you know what? I'm going to save the best for last. These stupid-ass, cunning mother figures that have destroyed their son or their daughter's relationship, they are going to get it. And somebody better wake up. 
Somebody's person better wake up to their mother and get the hell away from her. Ooh, needs to get the hell away from her ASAP. Because this is, ooh, 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 ooh. You know, and that's the reason why. Somebody here can't take something anymore. I think this karmic ex-boyfriend is going to learn. They, straight up, you guys across the board, Planet Saturn's coming in to teach this karmic ex-boyfriend who his enemies are and wake him up. Wake him up to the truth. Oh my God in heaven. If I see the, if I see the freaking queen of wands, when I go to clarify this empress, <laughs> oh my God. Message from the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. See, they're manifesting the magician, the world card. They're trying to figure out what is the best approach because the Princess of Cups, which is like the Knight of Cups, is about coming in. It could be about an apology, but could it also be about flirtatious text messages? It could also be trying to figure out a way to open up romantically because, yeah, some of these karmic ex-boyfriends, they're going to be returning back to you. Get prepared because there's going to be a big, huge awakening. That's why I said I think I think planet Saturn is going to be maybe just a little bit generous. A little bit. I'm not saying a lot. Because marriage and commitment was supposed to happen because of this king of pentacles. But you had a stupid ass, cunning, lying, deceptive Bitch ass mother, and I could go deeper than that. Sometimes I even wonder if there's a word that goes beyond the C word. I tried to look it up in Wikipedia. I couldn't find anything. <laughs> uh, message from the chariot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, baby. They're wanting to return six of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Somebody that you could have known since childhood, grade school, middle school, preschool, high school, crushes, long-term business associations, or Scorpio, you just know that this karmic ex-boyfriend, there's something maybe in his energy that you just can't let go of or that you're meant to be together, but he got all caught up. He got all caught up in the, in the frickin' circus act. That's what happened. Twin flame soulmate energy coming in through the Six of Cups. Message from the King of Pentacles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Having the courage and the strength, the sign of Leo. This karmic ex-boyfriend didn't have the strength at the time. Some of them didn't have the financial resources. They were squandering their money. They weren't saving appropriately on the side. They had, you know, maybe numerous different jobs, you know, different ways to make money or income. <clears throat> and it's not to say that that's not admirable, but I'm not so sure that some of these karmic ex-boyfriends had, some of them might have, might have like one specific trade that they do. Some of them are straight up drug dealers, okay? And some of them... Um, had numerous jobs, you know, making, you know, making a little money from this thing and then from this thing and from this thing and this thing, but not, some of them didn't have one thing that they were necessarily that passionate about. Some of them are a jack of all trades to some degree. Some of these karmic ex-boyfriends are self-taught. They, they teach themselves Message from strength, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The lover's activity, having the strength and courage to come forward. Sign of Gemini. Some of you are dealing straight up with the Gemini. We have Gemini energy again through the magician. Message from the Princess of Cups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Princess of Cups, what do you want to say? 
See, they're going to come in as the emperor. So in some regard, I take the energy away of the empress and I look at the emperor. There is a power couple here, but there was a lot of heavy distractions with this karmic ex-boyfriend. Too many people, too many things, toxic roommates, friends, family members, narcissistic parents, sisters, brothers, the aunts, pretentious aunts and uncles, and too many bromances, going out to the bars too much, you know, yeah, the whole nine yards, you guys. Message from the Emperor, one, two, three, four. What does the Emperor want to say to Archangel Michael? That this karmic ex-boyfriend is going to be a fool, I say a fool in love. And they were a fool in the past for leaving you behind. They were. Some of these karmic ex-boyfriends are a dog owner. Message from the fool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then I'm going to go into a part two. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It looks like somebody here is going to take a risk, a chance, and a gamble. And maybe do the right thing here. I say they will. They're coming in as the emperor. Be back in just a moment. <laughs> 